Welcome back, I'm Patricia Wimfire and we are here in the midst of Battle of Malta. It's a pretty busy day and there is a crucial role of the dealers who make this event pleasant for participants. I'm joined by Marcello, the head coordinator for the dealers. Welcome. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you for this interview. It's a really pleasure also to see you here. Like last time, like every time, I think it's a good enrichment also for us. As you can see, every time that we made the presentation on the day one hour, Patricia, it show, make this amazing show. <laughs> and you're going to see that as soon as our cameraman is going to make it up the video. So thank you, Patricia, for the invitation. Thank you for this uh, introduction of me. <laughs> I think it's there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As, uh, with, with your role in, as a head of coordinator for dealers, how many of them do you have scheduled for this event currently, approximately? Well, as you can imagine, as you can see, uh, for even like this, such big as this, uh, uh, even if a spring edition, uh, we need to consider more than 150 for sure, and all the stuff in total also with assistant floor every floor cashier is over 200 people so that's but why because of course we have more than 120 tables so we have more than eight nine tournaments per day so that means that it, we're we need, we really require every day at least a shift by 50, 60 people because it's okay, it's important to provide good service. So we need every time be ready to guest for the best our players and also to let our staff work properly. So that's, I would say for this edition, the numbers, it's around 160 dealers, I'll say. Do you look for any special requirements, um, specific... Uh things in dealers before when you're hiring for such a prestigious event? Well, as a dealer, as I started as a dealer and still sometimes still happen, and as a coordinator of course, uh, we have some, let's say, um, our proper way to recruit. So Massimo Maiorino is the head of recruitment, so it's our like big boss. Uh, we every time looking to mix, because as you know, Battle of Malta is a really big event and it's made the participation come like between so many different countries as a players and also specific like from Italy, because you know, our all sponsors, our community is always following us since so many years. So let's say that we, um, first of all, I'm really like care about the languages because it's important and some stuff we actually able to speak Italian Italian, of course, uh, English uh, is going to be, it should be mandatory. I mean, at the least, the basics is yes, to communicate also with the staff. We have also an international staff around us. As you can see, also my team is made by Michaela, which is from Slovakia. She able to speak four languages, like I do speak four languages. So even Elisa. So you understand that you know it's important that it's my first things that I would like to require that. Uh, also, I like uh, to make the staff uh, like, let's say. Uh, some of the stuff, let's say the 30-35% is made by our core stuff. So people who are ready to work with us, who actually grow up with us. That's actually really the best way to get the best stuff, you know, when you actually start to work together since so many years. Uh, you get also this kind of, um, how can I say it, it's uh, like feelings, uh, you know, because you actually teach them, uh, they learn, you learn from them, you know, it's also this one for us. And from the other side, we like every time, give the chance to other people to enjoy our tournament, because this has, uh, festival such big as uh, this one, uh, it's really a chance uh, not only to improve, so give the best for that, but also a chance proper to learn something else. I would say because that's experience not only about dealing or games because this year we also have hours we had the PLO so in the cash game we have also so many game, different games so I'll say that uh, uh, a dealer for sure you cannot miss the chance especially if uh, let's say it started in between one two years of experience I'll say from the other side of course our core staff with more than five six years of experience that's what help us as well. What I like as a coordinator, but not only me, our let's say mindset in general is that uh, every time when I talk with my staff, especially in the main meeting, you know, when the first day they show up 150 dealers, you know, all together. And what I like is that, that I told I told to them that the best things to be a great staff is to cooperate, to help each other. I understand that competition or challenge, it always motivates that. But the best challenge is when you actually got to learn something from that. There is no wrong challenge, there are no bad or good challenge, there is just the challenge that actually is going to reach yourself. That's what I think, that's what I want to communicate and share with my dealers. Because you know, every single moment is a chance to learn something. You know, even a colleague is maybe is going to see something on the table and he can come to you like to say, you know what, uh, this can be better in this way. So 
even me, even me myself, you know, so many times I learn uh, actually just watching other people, you know, that's the best way. Because at the moment there are no proper school, there's not a proper way to get firm, you know, so all of us, let's say, we started in so many different ways. So my main goal in general, uh, and I must say that uh, we really go that, uh, because now, as you can imagine, in October, that we actually double up every numbers. Uh, we are talking about more than 300 people just as a dealers. So that's our, let's say, our aim. At one point, we would like to get the staff who is going to be that one almost every time. You know, some new spot, it's always better. You cannot say that you have a great staff or the best staff if you don't, at one point, keep recruiting new people. Because always, every time, someone better or someone who deserves that, worth enough, is going to start to do this job. Yeah, I completely agree. The tournament is not only about poker games, but it's about learning as well. So it's great to hear that you give a chance to experience dealers and then the people who just started, uh, as you said, you did. Uh, I think everybody deserves a chance. But how do you have any challenges with issues with, of course, it's a long week, people get getting tired, etc. How do you handle the, this type of issues between the staff? Well, as you know, when we are more in my country, we usually say when you are more than three people, I use this is already coming up. So, yes. <laughs> so you can imagine with over 200. Let's say that, of course, as a coordinator, my let's say the responsibility. I'm quite young. I'm still 27. So, what I learned on my career is that that you always need to be fair with everyone. It doesn't matter if you also have personal uses with them or if you get anything. I try always to be polite. I always try to give, to understand, to be empathic as well. It's quite important. I always try to give every time that something happens, like the mistake at the table, that's normal, guys. If you work 12, 14 hours, we are human beings. So also for all the players, please try to be understandable. It's not really easy sometimes with you as well. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> but at the very end of the day, you know, uh, so many different countries, so many different people, so many different ways to think. So I'd say that uh, what I like to do is um, every time give uh, a second sign. So I'm going to have a talk with them for sure. I'm going to take personally. I don't like make this like huge talk or humiliate people in front of the stuff that's such really, really bad to do. Uh, and I told them, guys, look, I'm a nice guy, I think. So I'm going to try to explain them my point of view why what they did maybe can be like bad. Uh, at that point, uh, after the second chance, if I see that someone is keep going on that way, I just tell them, you know, to go home. Because I think that this is the best learning. What I think is this, every time I like that way. It's not easy, it's such a long event, such, so many tournaments, so many hours at the table. So especially after three, four days, people start to get start tired. And also we are in Malta in June. so. Those guys, for sure, they're going to enjoy some time off. We cannot anymore, <laughs> but they can. So I always try to be understandable. Of course, we require the best professionality ever. And the most important thing for me is their behavior. As I told you, one mistake at the table, you can learn, you can get better dealing, speaking. But as an attitude, well, that's a different kind of, or let's say, it's a different thing. So every time that he got a use system on me, of course, not only with the dealers or personal, also, you know, during, especially, you know, one dealer can um, get the wrong table. So maybe we need to go physically there. So we need to check everything. Also, maybe can happen sometimes when uh, you get so many players. So maybe you need to broke a table, switch a table. We always, it's a really dynamic job. You need really to stay there on the line, let's say. But I would say polite and kindness are always be my way. Sometimes I get mad, but so far, Knock, knock. <laughs> Not yet. Let's see. <laughs> In all those years, uh, do you have any memorable thing that happened? <laughs> you don't have to mention names, but maybe no, the occasions. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, sadly. <laughs> I would say because I, I wish I could. <laughs> Let's say I would like to tell you something funny. Yeah, Let's funny go. story. Let's go for funny story. Well, <laughs> One time, I'm not saying not even where, okay? okay. Let's say Malta, but it could be well somewhere else. Okay. You know, a dealer uh, forgot his key, his key for the white job, you know? So the first day, I told him, please, you know, try to be careful because it's a useless. So we need to call security, it's open, uh, you know what I mean, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, I didn't get really pissed. The day after, <laughs> these things, it happened again. 
So I told him, buddy, please, try to wake up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was so sorry, of course, I'm feeling so. The funniest thing is that this happened even on the third day in a row. So what you do, what I do? You just start to laugh because otherwise <laughs> <laughs> you can do anything else. That's why to make an example or else sometimes happen that, you know, uh, maybe some floor uh, think the dealers are tired. So maybe they just send dealers in break where they're not supposed to go. I suggest to all my colleagues floor in the world and never do something like that to a dealer coordinator because you're going to regret for the rest of your life. <laughs> It's a personal <laughs> advice. <laughs> but at the very end, you know, I got like so many memories, even in the worst situation, you know, everything sounds fine at the very end because uh, uh, working with people, with so many people, with so many different countries, sorry for being myself, but it's really a main point, you know, because uh, anthropologic speaking, uh, that's really something that it let, I grew up so much because I have dealers from like 18 until maybe 55 from 27 different countries. So I need also to adapt myself and I need also to think straight because maybe one Italian dealer act in a way follow it, his own culture, but maybe, I don't know, one dealer from Ukrainian or from Spain or from France, they have a completely different view of the things. So for that, even sometimes funny issues <laughs> happen. <laughs> We always try to laugh, uh, maybe at the end of the event sometimes, but <laughs> we, we, don't, we, we try to do our best yeah. as a funny story. Of course. <laughs> um, as I see, there's always laugh around you guys and always positive energy. That's, that's my opinion. And you're doing your job pretty well because we heard that last year you got a nice reward. Would you have like a few words about that? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Ask you to <laughs> Well, first of all, before we talk about my awards, uh, uh, as you said before, you know, that uh, uh, the, um, the most important thing is that uh, at the end of the day, you need to laugh, you need to have positive because we are the really like uh, reference for those guys. We are the people that they need to face every day and every moment. Even if I have, can be personal problems on everything, I need to be positive. We need to be positive with our guys because you can imagine you know, go to work and your boss is pissed off all the time. How do you gonna do that? How are you gonna, how are you gonna feel that? So that is important. Speaking of my awards, so <laughs> first of all, I would say one more time thanks to Cesare Antonini and Gioco News who actually gave to me these prestigious awards uh, as uh, one of the most influenced poker people of Italy 2022. What can I say? I won this kind of awards. I think I was the youngest one to win this. I think I was the first one as a dealer coordinator. So uh, it's, I just want to mention one more time because uh, I maybe got the awards, but what we reached, what we, the reason why I won these awards uh, it's not just me. I have so many people around me, mentioned Michaela, they say with me, Milan, my really good friends that is going to come back here in October, Fabia Bruciati, one of our senior foreign cash game. And with those people, we really, also Charlie and Dominic from Dealers for Dealers, also the cooperation with Richard Thoman in Austria, Liechtenstein. So I cooperate with so many people that helped me also to, yes, let work so many people during the last two years and reach this prestigious award. So thank you every time for the trust, for believing me. That's I think it's uh, well deserved. And what I also think is that after Battle of Malta ends, I think everybody, thanks to you, goes home with uh, positive vibe and good memories because we work as a, as a team, I think. That's the most important thing because uh, as I say to my guys, you know, not every event uh, can be perfect. You know, it's a big machine, this one, and it needs so many people to let really run properly. But what I'm trying to do every time is that uh, I like when uh, my guys, you know, they end the event, they come to me. You have no idea the best, really, the best things of my job as a coordinator is when, you know, you open the phone and you get so many messages of appreciation. You see really people respect you really text you the message, thank you to do that, thank you to, because, you know, that's, uh, at the end of the day, you not only left a good memory of the events, uh, you left something human in them, because they felt understood, they felt that someone is really taking care of them. I'm kind of like a big dad, you know, I have also son, so that's helped me actually <laughs> in the job. So, well, thank you for your words, Patricia, really.
Thank you for taking your precious time uh, during this busy event. Uh, thank you for chatting with me and wish you best of luck in uh, further events. Thank you. Finger crossed.